In the pre-sequel, they call all of the very short characters Lil something. Oh. So it's like Lil Madman, Lil Scaff, Lil Outlaw. Nice. Although they also, uh, unfortunately stumble into some other problematic language that I think is less, uh, less talked about being problematic over in Australia. Being, uh, oh, uh, I think it's technically not allowed to set up Twitch. Oh. It, uh... Uh, ableist term referring to mental illness that starts with L. I don't know it, but I'm not gonna say it. Lou. No. You can just gotcha. send me in DMs. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't. I'll put it in the stream chat. I probably. I probably have never seen that word before. No, I know for a fact you've seen. Oh. Wait, really? Yeah. Yeah. I could have sworn you knew that that a term that we have to shot away from. No, I didn't. I did not know. Yeah, no, it's a... Uh, it's largely considered highly derogatory towards people with both of bipolar disorder. Ah, that makes sense. I also love how Nick and Pokemon probably left in the dark, not knowing what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> So, and I think it's funny because they basically, they went from calling the very angry melee guys something that's kind of problematic to something that's probably more problematic. Wow. Yeah. I, d I don't think, yeah. Like, again, I, I think that the, this is never done, like, maliciously, but it's just, like, one of those background God damn it. I didn't know it immediately forced me forward. I thought it, I thought I would go immediately up, but it forced me forward. Also, I don't care how many times the fucking logo and technical name changes. I'm still gonna call it the bird. And I thought you were talking about this game. Coming. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I was getting confused. Oh god. Oh god. There we go. Expert parkour champion. Wait, oh, did we ever finish that park one? No, no, we did. If you're meaning like the most recent park park format we did. Were we gonna go back to it or no? I mean if, I mean it's your stream. If you wanna go back to it, we can. <laughs> My character decided to phase through the vine, touch the mushroom, and fall. <laughs> Yeah, there's also the fact that, uh, um, Borderlands a pre-sequel, uh, introduces 
probably one of my favorite types of elemental damage in the series thus far, cryo damage. Ice? You get to... Yeah, you get to freeze shit. And then when you kill them, they literally shatter. Oh. Yeah, I've played and, games that are similar to that. Yeah. And I think in the third game, uh, the, there's five elemental damage types. There's standard fire, shock, and corrosive. They keep the cryo in. And they also have uh, radiation. Did they add it to the God damn it, these fucking beetles! What, you don't like having bombs dropped on your head? No, I don't like the Beatles song. God damn it! What are you? You don't like having bombs dropped on your head? What are you, London? <laughs> I, I, at first, I thought you were going to choose an entirely different country, actually. <laughs> no, I, I, no, I ain't going to go back. <laughs> That's what my thought when I was like, actually, no. <laughs> anyway, I have been seeing a lot of memes about Oppenheimer and Barbie both having been their initial product released in the same country. Okay, I really don't care for our Barbie. God damn it! Well, I guess you don't know who Oppenheimer was. No. One of the leading scientists behind the Manhattan Project. Please, you have to know what the Manhattan Project is. I don't. Right? right? God. How the fuck do you not know? You were a fucking history. Uh, I don't think my school actually talked about it. Manhattan Project is a secret United States project that brought the first nuclear weapons into existence. Oh. Which is why there is that joke about the initial product of both movies initially releasing in Japan. Oh god. I swear I'm talking to a toddler. Is that... I have no idea if this is where I'm supposed to go or not. Good. Wait, how long are you playing this Tell one. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I oh, see okay. the, the vines. And he says, obviously, where I'm supposed to go. But where I'm supposed to go after that. I don't know. God damn it! Oh, I didn't even scream that time. <laughs> My character's just sick of me killing them. Yeah, it's just like, ah, uh, get it over with. The fiftieth time already. on my knife. God damn it. I just stood there waving the knife around his <laughs> Oh, I'm supposed to go up. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I just want to imagine that from their perspective. They're holding a the ball in their hands and they just see someone just <laughs> swinging the knife around. It's gotta be a similar feeling to like how gas will sink a Minecraft player just swing their sword at them from across the way. Yeah. Oh yeah, so you mentioned that you weren't thinking about the first one. 
Do you mean like? Wait, do you mean like this specific like two poles? Alice in Wonderland talks about the pole. Both of them together. Highly doubt that. I can tell I'm probably close to the end. I'm guessing you're close to the end of this. So what for the first foreseeable future just gonna Strange how quiet it oh. is here now. I don't like it. Caterpillar is just beyond the clearing, Alice. Let's sacrifice stealth for speed. Just going to, uh... Oh. What oh. the- Oh, what the fuck is wrong with his neck? I <laughs> know, I just saw that. What is wrong with his neck? Ah, uh, who the fuck are you? This long man, Sam. He just crushed Rabbit. Oh. oh god! Oh god! Oh, okay. <laughs> He's dead. Everyone I love dies violently. Unnatural. I'm cursed. Why go on? I'll just hurt others. No time for self pity. Evade these savage soldiers and find Caterpillar. <laughs> Mission is to kill Long Man Sam. Apparently. I would laugh if there's an enemy in this game that's just that's just a foot. It's just like the inverse of the master hands and Smash Bros. Yeah. Master feet. You know, I made that joke. The second player, I thought, wait, that sounds like something that could happen in the game that play. Wait, really? I mean, yeah. Like I said, I have, I have not safe for work content of all shapes and varieties. Nice. I think I think I added one of your not safe for work games to my wish list for shits and giggles. Oh god, which one? I think it was like the Cam Studio one with Monster Girls or something like that. Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure that one has a stream safe. <laughs> just stream that. I mean, yeah, it's just it's a porn studio, but it's Monster Girls. What the fuck and, is that thing? And it's probably one of the most mediocre games I've gotten off of Steam thus far. Jesus, what the fuck are these things? <laughs> My um, ghost. um. Uh. You know, I'd try to hazard a guess, but I'm just not dumb. I'd need them to stop moving. Oh, they dig. It's almost like the abominable mixture of, like, a skinned dog and a bone gauntlet for the face. It has so much health. Do something other than the pods. You're using oh, he's dead.
Oh, here's the rabbit's corpse again. Wait, did I just go back? I just accidentally went back. I mean, I guess. You were getting chased by weird-ass skinned dog creatures. That's closed off. I had to find the hole and go deep inside it. Oh, shut up. Well, that's what I gotta do. I like going deep inside holes. Fuck me. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, um, I don't know if I actually completed the question, but, like, is your plan just to, like, kind of cycle back and forth between this game and Borderlands for the foreseeable future, or...? Yes, until I... ...beat it. I think I'll be able to beat it. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. Well, I mean, like, this game in... Wait, is that a cane? Yeah, there's a cane up there. Go get the cane, Bright. Oh, God damn it! I actually messed up. Oh, this is acid. This is... This is why you save first. Oh, I got bored. Oh. Okay, now that's just actually straight out of some of the games I I bet Chu wished that was him, them at that moment. Chu isn't here. I I mean I think. Highly doubt it. I'm 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 pretty sure. What do you mean? Yep. Yeah, he's still streaming. Oh, it's just another one of my canes. I just clicked in my cane again. Or, or K thing, whatever you want to call it. What? I don't know. <laughs> like crochet? Crochet, yeah. Or whatever it's called, like the the dumb the dumb Go game where you the knock flow. balls between whatever holes and one on the lawn. Oh, I get floating powers, apparently. Congratulations. <laughs> Gotta climb. Gotta climb hard. And just like that, I get a new power. I think. I don't know. That's where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, it is. Oh, look! We can go jump to our deaths! Who would like to see me die? I'm sorry. No, I'm not I love that. it when... I love it when the flowers scream. Okay, speaking of flowers screaming, apparently... There's an SCP where the the scientists are just basically torturing this tree to make to get it to scream. That's it. That's the anomaly. <laughs> what? What? There's memes about it too, where the, the scientists are just screaming at this tree. Why, why won't you scream? <laughs> Right, so 
they just like not have an ethics committee anymore. <laughs> oh wait, that's right. I, I remember having a conversation with someone on Twitter at one point and we kind of personally canonized it that uh, the ethics committee is, consists of like five unpaid interns. Actually, there is something about the ethics community. Uh, they can be easily overruled by the O5 Council. <laughs> so the O5 Council proves torturing the tree. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe they, maybe the ethics council has like tried to have it cut off, but there's just like one O5 who's just incredibly pissed at that tree and insists on torturing it. Oh. Yay, I made it to the new area. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear god. It's holding Jupiter. Hey, Jupiter. It's a marble. Oh, okay then. It's a marble you need to run from. This reminds me of my, this reminds me of the game Tomb Raider that I have. Yeah, but I don't know why, Hatch, but for some reason I begin wanting to play like Resident Evil again with you. That's why I suggested five because <sighs> see the rock follow me now, oh marble. It sounded like you said see the rock follow me or follow me. Oh Oh god. I fell to my death. I'm gonna hit the auto save and see this. Yep, we get to see this again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they're robotic bugs. Oh god. Yeah, you can see it. Well actually they look more like what's it? Clockwork. Like bugs. Clockwork. They all been infected by the clockwork virus. No. No, they haven't. You're just a simp for SCP stuff. Hey, did I ever mention what one scientist tried to do but was instantly denied by the O5 Council? There's a lot of instances like that, but you gotta be specific. Alright, so this guy wanted to combine um, the sentient microorganism, 610, and the clockwork virus into one person. What the f- what? Why? They wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> You're t you see, that's the thing with some of you scientists. Sometimes you get too caught up asking if you could do something. Don't ask whether you should. Something, something. Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> that was a line from Jeff Goldblum's character in Jurassic Park. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> some bullshit. Right, did you you didn't save? <laughs> no, I didn't. It's the rock's constantly following me. Oh, I was just, uh, oh, it's because I fell on it, that's why I cracked the first time. And I guess since the rock touched the, that, it, it also broke.
But I am kind of curious as to what would happen. Like, which virus will take the most control? Oh, there's actually something that O5 Council did that um, th that one member did to show that Able being on a, a team is a good idea. They infected people with the zombie plague, but enhanced it, so we, we they didn't have a cure for it at the moment. It made it even stronger so that every time that a person a zombie would eat, they would duplicate. And they wouldn't decay. Yeah. How does that... How, how does that prove that you need to have Able on a team? Because okay. they sent Able to take care of it with uh, Iris. So in other words... He proved they needed them on their team by making their own problem. Yeah, only one member did that. The others did not know. But they were uh, uh, kicked out of the O5 Council. I would hope so. Yeah, and that's how the Chaos Insurgency was formed. Oh. Oh, so that guy went on to make the Chaos Insurgency? Yep. With the he, that, the reason he got kicked out is because he just randomly thought, Hey, you know what we really need? A fucking super zombie virus. That's what we need. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that... But the thing is, here's the thing, instead of the Foundation uh, making an antidote for or whatever, they just got rid of it permanently. Meaning, if someone was to recreate that, we would have no antidote. Well, I mean, if someone was to recreate that, we would need to make a new antidote anyway. Yeah. But also, if you think about it, it's also terrifying. Because if the Foundation can do it, other organizations that make viruses can. Oh dear god, I just thought about, what if they enhance 610? Like, it's already enhanced enough. Just, you know, adaptability. Yeah. I still With find that being, like, the most terrifying thing about it. God damn it, I hate tight ledges. How, like, 610 constantly adapts. Yeah. I'm listening, I'm just... Also, kind of focused on the only thing I, I don't know is if 610 has gained sapience. I know it's like sentient in a way because it acts like a hive mind and has created a church, but I'm not sure if it's gained sapience. You know what I mean? Yeah, I would argue that like developing a withering structure capacitates an enemy like more completely wires. than deep wounds. It does. Winter does not last. I, would, I mean, I would imagine. So. I don't, I, I don't know of any other animals that we can demonstrate have, like, actually created a religion other than humans. I mean, I guess it might be feasibly possible, but it seems highly. I got an ice spear. That shoots ice fire? In, in fact, like, I think the closest thing I know of is, yeah. like, there was a bunch of, like, bunk, uh, pop science articles that started claiming that elephants had a religion that was, like, further, like, massively debunked. Yeah. You could probably argue that they have the very bare beginnings of religion in the sense that they do engage in almost, like, 
something that could be described as cruel practices the never learning. But like that's a lot. Withering cold and propensity to the enemy will completely. I think you could make a pretty strong does argument, not last forever. 610 is currently safe. Which is actually more terrifying when you think about it. Yeah. 